So let's talk about needles. There's many different types of needles out there for sewing. In tailoring, we prefer to generally use betweens. The reason why betweens are chosen is because of several different reasons. As you look close up onto the needles, you notice that the needles are not sharp. They're very blunt. This is good for worsted wools, fabrics that have a woven natural texture to them. The eyes of the needles are very large. These needles are good for natural fibers and it makes it easier for threads to flow through. The steel composite of these particular needles are actually very, very strong. I've never had one of these bend yet, which is a very good thing. They're going to last much longer, especially when I'm sewing through multiple layers of material, such as heavy wools, canvases, linens, things like that. Sometimes you'll be sewing through five or six different layers of fabric, so you want to make sure that your needles aren't thin and aren't breakable or bendable. Needles, of course, come in different sizes. Um, the way that you tell the size is by the number. The bigger the number, the smaller the needle. Size nines are commonly used for finishing stitches, stitches that are going to be in the garment for years. The reason why these smaller needles are used for the, for the smaller stitches is because you don't have to use as much handwork, and so therefore you can sew faster. Of course, depending on your hand size, sometimes a larger needle would be better for bigger hands regardless, otherwise you tend to drop the needle more often. The next version of the needle that I use is a size 5. This is a very large needle and this is what I commonly use for basting. As you can see, next to the size 9, the size 5 is quite large. This allows you to make large, fast basting stitches easier because you're able to go through both layers of the fabric in large leaps rather than taking small jumps. And finally, there's a middle ground, the size 7. This particular needle I use for certain stitches, such as pad stitches, lapel padding in other words, and cross stitches. Time and experience really help out in trying to figure out what kind of needles are best for you. The most cost-effective way to figure this out is to buy a blister pack at first. Blister packs are really cool because they have all sorts of different types of needles. They usually come about two per size. So while you're trying to find out what needle works best for you, this is the best way to go, I think. So there you have it, a quick overview of needles. Next, we're going to talk about how to properly use the needle, different types of stitches, and the proper way how to stitch, so that way you can get the most for your time. Thank you very much for watching.